Hello guys, today I'm going to be ranking my top 5 NBA 2K games that of all, of all time that I have. <clears throat> I'm going to go from worst to best, okay? Uh, Starting off at number five, you're going to be surprised. So where is it? This is my number five, NBA 2K5. Now, what I liked about this game was it had Reggie Miller in it. <laughs> it had Reggie Miller in it. 24-7 was good. The soundtrack was good. The gameplay was fun, and uh, this was the last NBA 2K before Next Gen, which was the 360. But it was a very, very good game. I, I like 2K5. Ben Wallace on the cover, too. Yeah, that's cool. It's a little throwback, don't you think? Um, that was my number five. I'm going to now go on. To number four. Get ready. Number four. My number four favorite 2K ever. Ever. Try not to get triggered. I know, like, some people might not like this 2K. But I'm about to put NBA 2K12. Now, I'm kind of mad that they got rid of, like... The format with the 24-7 and stuff like that. But what I loved about this game. What made it very good, in my opinion. Was that they had a Legends mode. And it looked very realistic and cool. Like the 70s, 60s. Like, they looked accurate as hell. And the um, 80s, 90s, they looked very accurate. And, you know, it was cool. And this cover is pretty darn good. And see, see, see how good the graphics were for that time. It's pretty good. But yeah, the only the only problem with this game, one of the only problems of this game, was like the the black head glitch. Yeah, and they didn't have. I don't. Uh, was this the two K where they didn't have rookies? I'm not sure. I think it was. That was another problem, but it did have a nice legends mode that was really good. But yeah, that's why I put it on number four in my. Top 2Ks. Okay. Number 3. NBA 2K16. Number 3 for me. I'll tell you why. The Spike Lee mode was good. The gameplay was fantastic. The soundtrack was really good. Um, what else? My team, in my opinion, was at its best in this 2K. Yeah, this was the prime of my team, in my opinion. But, yeah, 2K16 was a very, very good game. Yeah. I'm surprised that, like... It doesn't, like... like I think, in my opinion, this is... Yeah, this is the third best 2K. It's very good, in my opinion. I love it. Spike Lee and all that. Anyways, on to number two. Okay. On to number two. I know I don't have the cover. NBA 2K14. My, what a game it was. Wow, it was phenomenal. The graphics were phenomenal. The gameplay was phenomenal. Like, the game was phenomenal. It had LeBron on the cover. And this was the time when Live put out one of the worst basketball games ever. But this was a phenomenal 2K14, right? 2K14. It's NBA 2K14. What a phenomenal game. 
graphics for the best, in my opinion. This game had the best basketball graphics I've seen out of a basketball game. It's amazing. And, um, yeah, I'd put it in number two. Number one, my favorite 2K game ever. The one I fell in love with. Yep. 2K11. I gotta put the GOAT 2K at number one. I gotta put it at number one. I'm sorry. I gotta put it at number one. This is one of the best... One of the best 2K games. No, this is the best 2K game ever made. Eh, no, no, no. The best basketball game ever made, in my opinion. It's between this and Live 10. Or Live 05. Actually, yeah, I think it's between this and Live 05 is the best basketball game. But this game is amazing. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is amazing. The game modes are amazing. My player is amazing. This is before VC, by the way. And this game just had very good gameplay, pretty good graphics, pretty good looking Michael Jordan, pretty good looking Kobe. They had good player models. Um, Blacktop was fun. They had uh, Michael Jordan mode, which was amazing. And they had the they introduced us to create a legend. This game was truly legendary. Oh yeah, Pro Am. Pro Am, I think was introduced in this thing but this game was amazing and yeah and in my opinion also in my opinion has the best cover out of any 2k game but yeah this is my number one anyways peace